Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be decluttering my makeup collection. You guys already know I am doing this series on my channel where I go in the back right here and go through all of my drawers and just declutter the products that I have. So I've already done several videos already. So if you guys missed those, I will have them linked down below in the comments, not the comments, but the description. But, um, and I'll try to make a playlist so that way it'll be easier for you guys to find my decluttering videos. But today we're going to be doing my face powders. So my setting powders as as well as my foundation powders so yeah I'm ready to go through these drawers and just minimize my face powder collection and just pretty much minimize my collection as a whole anyway because I feel like I have way more than what I need even though this is what I do like you guys know I receive products from PR as well as go out and buy products to review with you guys but some of the products that I had in my collection or that I still have in my collection are products that I've held on to for the past year two or three years so it's time for me to get rid of those products and just either give them to a good home or throw them away but yeah anyway i feel like i've talked way too much in this intro i know this video is going to be kind of long it's not going to be as long as the eyeshadow palette declutter video which was almost an hour long but it's gonna be pretty long. So I don't wanna to spend too much time rambling. So if you guys are interested in seeing me declutter my face powders, then let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I only have two drawers with powders. So I have this drawer, which has all of my setting powders. And then this drawer, which has most of my press setting powders, foundation powders. Um, and I think that is it. So just foundation powders and a few loose setting powders but all of my loose setting powders are in this drawer most of my pressed compact powders are in this drawer so let's go ahead and start out with this one right here so i have the Too faced born this way setting powder in the shade translucent and i believe i have another one yeah i have another one back here which is um the medium one i believe yeah this one is a translucent medium now out of these two i like the translucent medium the best I like how it looks once I set my concealer with it. It's not too dark, but it's one of those powders that I don't set like all over the face. So this is what it looks like. I set my concealer with it. It may look a little dark, but once I apply it on my skin, it doesn't look as dark. So it's perfect to set my concealer with, and I like the shade of this one. So out of the two, I'm actually just gonna keep this one and throw this one to the side. Now, when I say throw to the side or toss, that does not mean that I'm gonna throw these products away. That usually means I'm going to give them away to somebody I know since I've already used them, or I'll donate them. So I am gonna go ahead and toss this one to the side. Then we have this one by Derma Blend. This is the Derma Blend Eliminating Banana Powder. I really didn't like this one because it made my skin look too, what's the word? Um, luminous i guess or ashy looking i know they have another one but it's not like the illuminating powder but this one i don't know how i, I just didn't like how this one looked on my skin so i'm actually going to go ahead and toss this one then we have the la mer setting powder which i don't even talk about as much on my channel i did purchase this during the sephora sale last year and one thing about this powder is for one is very very finely milled so this is what it looks like so you guys can see it um, the color is perfect. I just don't use it as much. I don't want to throw this away or, get, um, you know, take it back to the store. I actually want to throw it into my everyday makeup stash again because I have used this quite a few times in um, one month. I think it was at the same month that I purchased this, but I want to give it some more tries. Now, this is not um, one of those setting powders that's going to keep me matte all day. Um, it does set the skin really nice but it's not like a matte like a true matte setting powder so i still want to continue to you know give this a try so i will put this into like a everyday makeup stash for i guess um a month maybe next month or the month after that but i'm not going to toss this one so i am going to keep this one in my collection and the laura mercier setting powder y'all i don't even know why i haven't even opened this thing yet but this was a limited edition packaging they had this during the holidays i'll show you guys what it looks like so this is what the packaging looks like. Very cute. And honestly, I just got it for the packaging. Really, I haven't used this um, this translucent powder in a long time. Like I used to use it. This was actually the only 
um, setting powder that I would use because so many people were raving about it in the past. It's still a real, uh, really good setting powder. I just don't use it as much because I have found other favorite powders, but I'm definitely going to keep this because like I said, it was a limited edition packaging. Um, and I still want to kind of dip into it again because I think I forgot how it wears on my skin because I haven't used it in a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this pretty vulgar setting powder. Love, love, love this stuff. You guys very similar in my my opinion to the Too Faced Peach Perfect which I have right here but very very similar to that powder it's just that the color is obviously different this is translucent and I love how this sets my concealer I love how it stays matte all day on my skin I love this powder so I'm definitely not gonna throw this one out this one's gonna stay in my collection all right this is the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Loose Mineral Bronzer Y'all, I think I had this in my collection for at least, at least three or four years. I've had this forever. I never use it because at first when I saw it in the store, I was thinking it was one of those powders that you can just dust all over the face. Now, I did try that and when I did, my face looked so freaking glowy and like glittery. Not glittery, but... It wasn't one of those powders that I would suggest putting all over the face. Very, very, very luminous. I mean, it is a bronzing um, setting powder, but I wouldn't suggest using this to set your makeup because it's very, very luminous. But I never use this. And yeah, so since I never use it, I'm going to go ahead and toss it. All right, my Too Faced Sweet Peach. Y'all already know I don't even have to spend too much time talking about this powder because it is my favorite powder. One of my favorite ones out of my collection. I say this one is definitely top, but this one, um, like the Pretty Vulgar, keeps my makeup matte. And when I say like keeps me matte, I mean like it keeps my T-zone matte because I do have an oily T-zone. But um, I just like to use loose setting powders wherever I apply concealer on my face. So this is what it looks like. It does have like a peachy pink tint. At the top, it kind of looks a little brown because I do um, put my brush and my sponge in this area. I just kind of take some of the product, put it in the top, and then put it right here on the top. But it does open up right here, and you'll see like a little sifter inside. But I like how this just keeps my concealers in place. I like it how I like how it doesn't allow my concealer to crease. And y'all, this is just one of my favorite ones, so I'm definitely gonna keep it. Then I have the Elf Beauty Shield. This is their setting powder in the shade Golden Sheer, I believe. No, Sheer Golden. This one is one that I actually just used in one of my recent videos, and I did a full face of drugstore versus high-end makeup. So I compared this one to the um, Too Faced, not the Too Faced, but the uh, Fenty Beauty Powder in the shade Banana. Both of them have that same, same, like the color is the same as the Fenty Banana Powder. Um, the only difference is I feel like the um, Fenty Powder is more matte than this one. Even though they both wear on the skin really nicely all day long, it's just that I feel like the one by Fenty, which is right here, I feel like that one is more matte than this one. But even though it's more matte than this one, it's not like drying on the skin. So I do like love this one this was one of my favorite like affordable drugstore setting powder so I am gonna go ahead and keep this one and then speaking of the Fenty powder this is it right here just purchased this not too long ago and I do like how this one wears on my skin all day long this again is in the shade banana I actually want to try another shade I forgot what shade you guys were telling me to try out I don't know what shade it was called but I will go ahead and go back to the video where I did a review on this powder and go in the comments and see because I do want to pick up that shade but yeah I'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep this because like I said I like how it wears on the face it does keep my concealer in place and it's pretty matte it's just not you know drying matte so that's what I love about this product so I am gonna go ahead and keep this so these two that I have right here in the corner are by Colourpop I have banana and I also have translucent so I wasn't a really big fan of the setting powders by Colourpop so I'm actually gonna go ahead and toss these to the side because honestly I don't even reach for them anymore so since I don't you know use them anymore I'm just gonna go ahead and toss them then I have the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder this is the um, the glow the powder glow in the shade translucent medium deep I did not really care for this I feel like this is just a loose highlighter like just a loose highlighter like I did not like how it looked on my skin I felt like my skin looked way 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 too glowy um, maybe it's because I used too much of the product but 
I just don't see myself using this anymore. I use it maybe twice and the two times that I use it, I did not like it. So since I barely even use this, barely even touched it, I'm actually gonna go ahead and give this away. All right, so the Marc Jacobs Finish Line Coconut Setting Powder, which is one of my favorite high-end powders. I compare, if I had to compare this one, I would definitely compare it to the Too Faced Peach Perfect, but it's not, as matte as a Too Faced, um, as a Too Faced Peach Perfect, but it is matte, if that makes sense. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It does have that little, um, I don't know what you call it, like a little net, which I like. I feel like if all of my setting powders had that same net, I would love them even. Um, I would love them even more. I really like this type of packaging, but this like I said, is kind of similar in my opinion to the Too Faced Peach Perfect. It's just not as matte as the Too Faced Peach Perfect, but sets my concealer perfectly, does not allow my concealer to crease no matter what concealer I use. So yeah, this is my favorite high-end setting powder that I will not throw away. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in my collection. Then I have this Chanel setting powder, y'all. I haven't even opened this, I haven't used it, like I haven't even tried it out yet. But I got this because, um, I don't know if you guys watch Angela Denise here on YouTube, but she always talks about this powder. I don't know, I just really wanted to try it out for myself. I have the shade, does it say on here what shade this one is? Um, well, there it is, right there in front of my face. Loose, tra uh, translucent number three. So yeah, never even try this out, still in the box. So that tells me right there, I need to go ahead and put this into like an everyday makeup stash video um, and just, you know, use it and put it into my everyday makeup stash drawer. So if you guys try this um, powder out, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't like it. Let me know, but of course I'm gonna keep this because I do wanna try it out. All right, so this is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is a really, really, really different powder. I've never tried anything like this. It feels really cool on the skin. Like, it's like you're applying like a cool... I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's very different on the skin. Now, one thing that I can say about this powder is it does set my concealer really nice. It does keep it in place but it doesn't keep me as matte as I wish, like as I want it to be. So I really wasn't a huge fan of this powder. Um, I only use it maybe two or three times, if that. So since I barely use it, I'll go ahead and give this one away. So I have another setting powder by Dermablend. This is the original loose powder. This one isn't like the other one that was um, illuminating. This is just the original one. It's just that the color is darker. So this one, uh, what shade is this? Warm Saffron. Honestly, I haven't even opened this one. Like I haven't even used this one at all. And I just wish that this one was translucent instead of this shade because I feel like this shade is a little bit too dark for my, you know, just setting my under eyes. I don't like to apply loose setting powder all over the face. I rather have like a, I'm struggling trying to close this up, but I rather have a, um, a pressed powder to apply all of all, to apply all over the face. So since I haven't even used this, I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, throw this one into a giveaway. This one by Ofra, I used to use this all the time on my channel. This is actually my first um, loose setting powder that I would use all over the face. I used to use this, I think when I first started out with my YouTube channel, I do like the shade. I like how it looks all over the skin. It's just that I wasn't never like a huge fan of dusting loose powder all over the face. But if I used a loose setting powder all over the face, this is the one that I would use. I'm almost out of this because I would use it a lot in the past, but it's pretty old. I feel like I've had this maybe three years now, three or four years. This is um, translucent dark. So if you're looking for a good like all over setting powder, that's affordable this one is really good so yeah since I haven't used this in a while and since it's pretty old I'm gonna go ahead and toss it so we're almost done I have this one by Sasha which was my very 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 first powder ever like my first setting powder and I think I said the one by Ofra was one of my first ones but this one was my first one like my very very first setting powder that I tried out that I've used and you guys see I have ran through this stuff. I used to use this non-stop. And that was before I discovered Laura Mercier and all the other setting powders that you guys know that, you know, that is out 
right now but yeah I haven't used this in forever I've had this forever since I started my channel so about four years going on five years now so since this is pretty old I'm gonna go ahead and toss it and we have another Laura Mercier powder this is just their original loose setting powder in the shade medium deep and like I said I don't really care for applying like um, setting powders all over the face that are loose so since I don't really use this I'm gonna go ahead and toss it I use it maybe a couple times I think maybe just one time to actually see what it looks like on my skin but this is the color right here but I don't see myself using this ever so I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it so I'll give it to somebody I know or um, you know just donate the product but yeah that's that then I have this one by black radiance this is their true complexion up uh, this is their True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. I did a full review on this. It's been a while, maybe about a year ago, maybe not even that long, but I do know I did a full review on this if you guys wanna see it. I think I did even like a flash test in that video, but um, yeah, so that's this one. I don't really reach for this one anymore, but then again, I don't wanna throw it to the side because I do wanna put this in an everyday makeup stash for the month. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. Then we have this one by Makeup Revolution. This is their luxury bake, uh, baking setting powder in the shade Lace. I've used this maybe a few times in the past. I didn't really like the color of this one. I feel like I should have gotten, um, what is it? The, either the banana one or the translucent one, but this is what Lace looks like. It's kind of like a, a pinky color. I know it's not really coming off as that on camera, but um, I don't know, the shade just was kind of off. But as far as how it looks on the skin, it does set really good. It's just that the shade was kind of off. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. And I have this one by e.l.f. Um, I don't even know what this one is called. I do know it's just their setting powder, but let's open it. Have I used this one? You know what? I haven't even used this. This is their setting powder. And this is the color. It's a white setting powder. Honestly, haven't even opened it. Forgot I had it. I'm actually going to go ahead and give this one away. If you guys have tried this out, let me know your thoughts on this powder. I really don't hear anyone talk about this, but I'll go ahead and give this one away since I haven't even opened it. Then the last one that's in the drawer, that's just a random brush back there. But this one is another CoverGirl powder in the shade. Um, what shade is this? Does it even say? I don't see the name of it, but this is their Blend Minerals Loose Mineral Powder. Um, let's open it up. Have I... I don't even know if I use this one either. Let's see. Nope, I haven't even, girl, I haven't even opened this one. But since I haven't opened it, I'll go ahead and give this one away too because I don't really see myself reaching for this. So if you have been wanting to try this out, oh, there's a shade right here. It's in the shade Deep. I should have saw that in the beginning, but y'all know I don't really use deep loose setting powders all over the face. So yeah, I'll go ahead and give this one away. In my hands, you guys see how wrinkly they are. They're cold, like I'm freezing right now and they're pretty dry because I just washed my hands. But anyway, yeah, I'll go ahead and give this one away. And then we have this last drawer. You know what? I'm gonna grab my phone because this is kind of hard to um, do while it's sitting on the tripod. But yeah, so all of these are my, um, baked face compacts and i'm in the shade deep ebony for those of you who are wondering so yeah that's that love this powder that's why i have four backups i think i have one in the very back yeah that's the one in the come on drawer so yeah that's this so yeah it's right here in the very back this is the one that i've been using it's just that um i don't have it in my everyday makeup drawer because i am using another powder for the month but I'm gonna keep those obviously. Then I have this one by um, Maybelline. This is their Fit Me uh, powder in the shade Mocha. I think this one or it was another one. This one right here, um, Coconut. Which one? One of them did not work. Like one of them looked too gray on my skin and I believe it was Mocha if I can open it. All right, so this is Mocha. Yeah, I believe Mocha was the one or was it coconut? It was one of these that I did not like how it looked on my skin. I wanna say it was mocha. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and toss these because honestly and truly, I don't even touch them anymore now that I've been using my um, Maybelline Superstay powder. So yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just toss these to the side. And up here, I have this little um, flip book by Flesh. These are just little um, sheets of paper, but it's weird because on the sheets of paper, you actually just put it on your skin and it's supposed to come off as like a blush or highlighter or a bronzer. So you have several different sheets of paper in here. I haven't even used this at all. So yeah, it's 100 makeup papers in here. It's, it's weird, but 
I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one away too. And then this is the Milani powder. This, I don't know if you guys remember when I told you guys that I ordered this on Amazon and they ended up sending me the wrong shade. This is the shade that they sent me. This is in the shade um, Golden. So if you think you are this shade, if you wanna use it like as an all over pressed, um, you know, like an all over setting powder, let me know. I haven't even touched it. It's still wrapped up in the plastic. So let me know and I will give it to you. So I am going to go ahead and put this one to the side. And then these are loose setting powders. I have one by Thrive, which I haven't even tried this one out yet. This is their translucent powder matte. Ooh, it's a matte powder. Ooh, I want to try this out. This one was actually going to go into my everyday makeup sash for next month. Yeah, so let's keep that one. And then I have this one by Ray, um, Rimmel London, which is their Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder, which I love. I love this stuff, you guys. This is a really good, affordable matte powder. So if you're looking for a good, like, matte powder that's going to keep your skin matte all day long, try this. I also like the Press one, which I think is somewhere in here. Yes, yeah, back there in the back. But I'm going to keep that one. And I also have this one by Essence, which is their banana powder. This is fairly new. I honestly didn't know that Essence had um, loose setting powders, but I do like this. Um, it's not as matte as I would like it to be, like to keep, you know, my T-zone matte all day. But it does set my concealer really nice. It does not allow it to crease. So I do like that about this powder. So I'm going to keep this one. And then I have this by Kevin Aquan. This is their, what is this? what is this what is this oh this is also a setting powder you just have it so there it is right there it's like a nice little banana powder really really nice it's kind of um like a velvety finish it's not matte or anything like that but um yeah so that is this one right here you know what i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna keep this then this one by Milani, this is their um, banana, is it the banana? Yeah, the banana powder. So I do like this one as well. It's a good, you know, affordable drugstore powder. It's not like one of those mattifying loose setting powders, but it does set my concealer really nice. And I do like it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. And I have these three. These are actually by Pop Beauty. And I have one I believe I use as like a, a bronzer. This one is pretty light. I think I use this one as like a setting powder under my eyes. Honestly, I don't reach for these anymore. Um, they did send me like a big package of all of the shades. This one I believe I use as a bronzer. This is in the shade seven. The first one was in the shade four. And then I think this one is the one that I use like as an all over setting powder. No, this one I use as a bronzer because so, it's darker. This is in the shade eight. So eight as the bronzer, seven as the all over face powder, and then four as my um, concealer setting powder. But since I don't reach for these, I'm gonna go ahead and toss them. Then I have this one by ColourPop. I think one is a bronze, what are these? All right, these, yeah, these are their um, pressed powders, which I wasn't really a huge fan of these. Like I didn't like how they looked on the skin. I felt like I had to really work with these, but um, yeah, I don't, but yeah, I don't really care for these. These aren't something that I necessarily have to keep in my collection because I don't love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss them. Then I have this by Too Faced. This is their Beach Bunny Bronzer, I believe. I don't know why I still have it. Yeah, their Beach Bunny Bronzer. This side right here is really pretty on my skin as a bronzer. The other shades I can't obviously work with, but I like how this looks like, you know, looks like as a bronzer. But, you know, since I can only... But since I can only use that and not the other um, shades in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it. Then I have these by Black Radiance. One is damaged. This is in the shade Black Coffee. I used to use this as a contour shade. So since it's pretty much damaged, I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. And I have this one in the shade Rich Mahogany. This is also good as a contour shade because it's pretty, um, it's pretty dark. I do have another one in the shade Ebony, which is the perfect pretty bronze color as a bronzer on my skin but rich mahogany is also good to contour with and since this one's good to contour i'm actually just going to go ahead and keep it then i have this powder by kevin aquan this is i think like a a dark foundation powder yeah so this is what it looks like it's pretty pretty warm really warm actually but um yeah and I honestly don't even reach for this either so I'm gonna go ahead and toss it then I have this soap and glory one heck of a blot which y'all if you have been watching my channel for a while you guys know that this was the powder that I would always use as my um 
I guess my setting powder under my eyes. I've gone through three of these already. This is actually obviously the newest, um, the newer one, which you guys see I've actually gone through a good bit of it. But I'm gonna keep this because I do like how this sets my under eye. You can use it as a blotting powder or as a setting powder, which I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Then I have this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. Ooh, girl, this is old. And this is pretty old. So this has a highlighter as well as a bronzer. The bronzer um, didn't really look out, um, like a bronzer on my skin, but the highlighter is gorgeous. But since it's pretty old, I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. And I think this is my bronzer by ColourPop. Yeah, this is the bronzer in the shade Bits and Pieces. This is very similar to, um, come on, open up. This is actually very similar to the bronzer by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Mahogany. Pretty, pretty deep. Honestly, I did not know that ColourPop had deep bronzers that was, you know, this deep. And to be honest, I forgot I had it, but I am gonna keep this. And I don't know why it's in my um, powder drawer. This is supposed to be in my bronzer drawer, but it's right there. Then I have this one by Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Loose Setting Powder. I did not like this stuff. A lot of people like this, but honestly, I did not like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. Then I have my MAC Studio Fix in the shade NW45. I love, 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 love this. I have gone through this like crazy so pretty on my skin like this was the perfect all over face powder love it um i don't know why i'm still holding on to it i need to get another one but that is that and since i'm pretty much almost out i'm gonna go ahead and toss it all right my battery is about to die on my phone so i'm gonna have to speed this up but this is their peach um the Too faced peach blur this is supposed to be like a blurring powder i don't honestly know i never even used it this is what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and toss this one in a giveaway since I never used it. Then I have my e.l.f. bronzer. This is in the shade, um, what is this? Uh, Constantly bronze. This is the darkest shade. It's not like a dark, warm bronzer. I mean, it works, but it's not as dark as I wish it was. It's really pretty on the skin if you're wanting that really soft, subtle bronze look. Especially if you're a little bit lighter than me, this will be like the perfect dark bronzer for you. But it's not as dark as I want it to be, like I said. So, you know, I never really use it anymore because really I just wanted to try it out to see what it looks like on my skin. It's just, it's not as deep as I wish it was. So actually, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. Then we have the MAC um, Skin, what is this, the Skin Finish? Mineral Eye Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deepest. I think this is one that I'm almost out of, I believe. So this is what it looks like, pretty much out of this. So let's go ahead and toss it. And then of course my Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face, which I'm keeping, put that right here. And then this one by Sephora, this is their bronzer in the shade um, Canary Islands, which was not as dark as I thought it would be. It's pretty light. I think I swatched it and used it maybe once because I wanted to obviously see what it looks like on me and, it's, and it was way, 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 way too light. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one. Then we have this one by CoverGirl. This is their True Blend Pressed Powder. And this is what it looks like, which I was really surprised that CoverGirl had a powder that was deep enough to use as an all over face powder. Um, this one is in the shade what is it? Um, translucent Sable. So you can use this as an all over powder. Um, it's really light, like it's light on the skin. It's not too dark. Um, it does not really change up the foundation shade that you're using, which is what I like. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep this. Then I have this one by NYX, which is their no filter press powder in the shade Golden Deep. Yeah, Golden Deep. I feel like this was um, the closest match to the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face if I wanted to use like a drugstore version very very close to that it's a little bit warmer than the sephora one but i love this stuff so i am going to go ahead and keep it and then i have this one by covergirl which is their full spectrum um, press powder in the shade what is this um cool number four um this one is what i would use as a contour shade or like a bronzer it's just that i have to have a really really light hand with using this because this is super pigmented i don't know if you guys saw the video where i reviewed some of the full spectrum products but i did take a few of those back um to the store but i did end up keeping this and then last but not least i have the rimmel london stay matte translucent powder this is the um press powder which y'all see i have 
use a lot. I love this stuff. It does keep my T-zone matte, which I love. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one too. All right, so this is all that I'm keeping in this drawer. I do have more room to put some more products if I wanna purchase anything else, which I feel like I don't need to, but y'all know how that goes. And then up here, these are the loose powders um, that I'm keeping right here. So I'm keeping all of these, and these are all the powders that I'm giving away. Um, so donating, giving to somebody I know, or just giving away like in a giveaway. But yeah, this is what the drawer looks like after I put all of the powders that I'm keeping inside. So so I still have more room in the back, more spacious, and I feel so much better that I have decluttered and just minimized my collection, you guys. Like everything, like when I open my drawers, I feel so much better. Like I feel like I don't have so much, you know, just so much. But yes, that is what my drawers are looking like. All right, you guys, so that completes this video. I'm so glad that I finally decluttered those drawers. I'm almost done decluttering my entire collection. I have, um, I think I have two drawers that have a lot of random products in it, like a lot of drugstore random products, just a lot of random stuff. So I know for sure I have two of those drawers behind me. I also have a drawer um, filled with, I think, skincare, but most of my skincare products are actually in my closet because I do have a drawer, like a, a drawer in there that has a ton of skincare products in there but as far as like the skincare products that I want to reach for um, that I use on a daily they would be back here behind me but the ones that I have like backups and stuff like that those are in my closet but if you guys want to see me declutter my random drawers that I have let me know so let's go ahead and leave that down below in the comments but yeah I think that is all that I have for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying my decluttering series. So again, if you guys have missed any of those other videos where I decluttered my products, I will have that video, well, the videos down below in the description. So yeah, I think that is all that I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.